into the hiring of PR woman Monica Leach by Minister Martin Cullen is only getting underway. Interesting, by the way, that Polish to Mary Harney spoke in decidedly neutral terms about that inquiry yesterday and about the minister involved, certainly without expressing any support for the minister. The star ahead of the inquiry has made up its mind already. Uh, it has joined, this morning, it has joined those calling for the minister's resignation. Martin Cullen, the paper says, certainly knows how to waste public money, but it clearly has the most enormous difficulty when it comes to realising that it's time to quit. He's now sinking faster than the Titanic. That's what the star says this morning. We're joined from Waterford now by John O'Connor of the Munster Express. Good morning, John. Good morning, good morning Carl. Um, the traditional reaction, I suppose, is we can all guess, I presume, that if there's a minister in trouble with the media and if there's an inquiry underway, then of course everybody at home is supporting him. Is that the way it's playing? Yeah, there's a lot of support here in Waterford for Martin Cullen, but it's not just um, a silly parish pump down, down home type of support. Uh, a lot of people believe he's been targeted, and a lot of people believe that both he and Monica Leach have been treated unfairly. Now, uh, as I said, the star came out this morning, there's other newspapers have called for his inquiry, and the, the general belief here is that, uh, you look, there's three inquiries on the way, one of them will report in a few weeks, and if he has a case to answer, uh, people hope he hasn't, but if he has a case to answer, then so be it. And if a breach of regulations uh, occurred, then pe uh, people in would want that to be examined and viewed in a, a cool and calm manner, and most importantly, in perspective, and before there's any talk of resignation, uh, uh, the situation perhaps should be viewed in context with all the other appointments, contracts and uh, reports that have been commissioned by various ministers in this and other administrations. When you say targeted, I mean, th this woman was hired and paid a lot of money, whatever yeah. about the regulations, and I know that there are, for example, advisors and people taken on by ministers who are now looking at what Monica Leach got and are saying, how come we didn't get anything like that amount of money, 800 euro a day plus v that? So how, wh what do you mean when you say people think she, well, she I, I, and, they, and he were targeted? Well, I can't, I can't uh, talk about the, uh, the amount of money. That has to come out in the inquiry. I don't know anything about that, but some, for instance, some of the, um, the press coverage uh, has been sexist and has been chauvinistic, uh, without question. Uh, I mean, for instance, in Waterford, most people didn't take too much notice of this in the beginning because the, uh, a lot in the beginning there was, a, there was suggestions that there was a, a sexual uh, liaison between Martin Cullen and Monica Leach, and everybody here knew that wasn't true. But you still have these, I mean, I, if, if Monica Leach had been, for instance, a small, fat little man, uh, I wonder would, would there have been as much interest and uh, some of the um, headlines they're talking about Monica Gates I mean that's very very unfair I mean as you know and I know that that started in Richard Nixon's thing where, where Watergate was there where there was serious criminality it moved on then to uh, uh, Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky uh, and was Melania it's totally uh, unfair to yeah, it's an easy that. headline it is, of course, and perhaps, and I'm not saying it does, I don't know, but perhaps uh, those type of headlines and that type of reporting uh, was one of the reasons why that man in Cork phoned up Joe Duffy's show and made the comments he did. There's also another thing, too. I mean, uh, in all the newspapers now, in all the profiles, Martin Cullen is referred to as arrogant. It's, it's just as if that's, that's, you know, part of his makeup. And all I can say, I mean, I can only find uh, 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 these persons I find him, and in all the years I've known him in, in Triumph, and in, 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 uh, in defeat politically. Uh, arrogant is never a word that ever came to my mind. I'd say he's driven to the point of, of being a workaholic and he seems to want to get things done in, in a hurry, but uh, I, I've never felt him arrogant. He said, of course, that he's, welcomed, uh, that he's welcoming this inquiry, but what about the position he finds himself in, which is tricky no matter what happens, in that he, as we all know, he left one party and went into another. Now, um, in, in terms of Waterford and Fianna Fáil, how strongly are they behind him? Well, again, you see, this this is uh, something that uh, is a is a big deal uh, in in um, outside of Waterford. But it's not a big deal in Waterford. And if you look at the people, say, who canvassed and supported uh, for Martin Cullen, uh, you know, there's an awful lot of the old Fianna Fáil people there. Now, okay, he was a PD. He was elected as a PD because there was, a, I suppose, when he got into politics, he went to a selection convention where the PDs were were being formed, and that was a, an entry into politics for him. There was no hope of getting in any of the other parties, but. But his family uh, have always been regarded as independent Fianna Fáil. His father was a mayor of Waterford, his grandfather was a mayor of Waterford. Now, they were independent because their power base was t around the docks and stevedoring and things like that. But they were always regarded as independent Fianna Fáil, so I, I actually don't think that's a problem. Yeah. A final thing, uh, John. Um, I mean, I know he's only been two years in the Cabinet, yeah. but uh, marks out of ten, do you think, for, you know, delivering for Cahill, uh, the I home think, place? How do I, you think they'd rate I him? could stress to you, and again, this is not, uh, you know, a small-term provincial uh, attitude. Uh, I've been covering 
corporation and county council meetings for a long time and without question for many many years water got the crumbs off the national cake without question yeah. and there's all professional yeah. how, how, how Martin Cullen or is it too early to say he, how is, starting, he is starting to uh, uh, redress the balance and there's money now pouring into Waterford uh, that wouldn't have come if he was the minister and indeed a uh, lot of people are saying uh, you know politics is a dirty business and if that money wasn't coming into Waterford it would be going somewhere else and perhaps that has something to do with it John O'Connor and Waterford thank you very much for talking to us it's a quarter to nine